So forages are just simply the plants that livestock consume. So those would be a pasture or even hay or silage, which is a fermented plant product. So those are be a little bit different than things like grain, which are harvested seeds from plants. The livestock and forage industry have become more efficient the main way is just been through increase in technology. So things like GPS has allowed us to be more precise with our fertility and chemical management, which has allowed us to reduce our inputs, which obviously is one of the largest costs in forage and livestock production. The research we've done over the last 20 or 30 years has helped us better understand forage physiology. So we're able to manage our cattle better or our livestock better in order to make the plant grow better and be more efficient and our animals grow faster. Producers in Alabama and across the U.S. promote sustainability of forages in a bunch of different ways. One of those is simply just moving their livestock routinely so they get better return of nutrients, which reduces fertilizer inputs. They also managing their forages correctly, increases their forage production, but also decreases weeds, which reduces chemical needs in these systems. So many producers also promote wildlife as part of their systems because they are usually at the edge of forest or other wildlife habitats. So there are many ways forages fit into sustainability of our Alabama ecosystems. We know that input costs are increasing every day, fertilizer especially, but also herbicides. The farmers also, their most important resource is their land. So being able to produce more on a smaller amount of land is really important for them to be able to stay in business as well. I grew up on a farm, but I also studied ecology as an undergraduate, and I found that the agro ecosystem of forages, the introduction of wildlife, soil and plant uh, species, as well as livestock, is an ecosystem that is amazing. There's so many different aspects of it. Producers in Alabama can grow 50 to 100 different plant species, and every farm is different in terms of what their ecosystem looks like. And I enjoy also working with farmers every day and helping their lives be better.